Hey dolls! Look at this creepy bear just like peeking out with her one eye like ah! Okay, we're gonna hide you so you're not distracting little bear. Oh, do you guys remember little bear? Oh, my childhood. So today we are unboxing Pastel Pixies second kawaii box. If you want to get your hands on one of these guys, I will leave the link in the description box below. But this is basically just a box of kawaii goodies. You guys may remember me unboxing the first box, which was the Menhera one. So I will leave that video right here if you want to go check out that little unboxing. But today we are unboxing the Magical Girl box! The first box was, it was pretty good, it was alright, but I felt like there was a bit of room for improvement and when I heard that they were doing a Magical Girl themed box, I got really really excited. Here we go, this is the Kawaii box from Pastel Pixie. And da -da 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 -da, we open her up and she's got some pink tissue paper in here. We have another card with beautiful artwork by Miss Jedi Flip on it. Please go give her an Instagram follow because her work is so gorgeous. I rave about it all the time on this channel. But uh, basically here is all of the uh, information about the box and places that you can find them. So it says right here, inside this box you will find everything you need to help transform yourself into that magical cutie you always knew you were. I don't need to transform, I'm already a magical cutie. Uh, let's get on into this. So here's what the box looks like inside. And I'm very curious. Okay, this is adorable. Um, when I first saw this, I thought it was uh, like a pillowcase for like a square pillow. But it's actually a tote bag. This is absolutely precious. So it does say Pastel Pixie on it. It has their little watermark logo on there. Okay, so it has really, really long straps on it, which I love and I hate. I love it because it's almost like a crossbody and that's actually really cute and creative. Most tote bags aren't. But then again, I hate it because they aren't adjustable. And you can always like DIY this and like do a little, um, safety pin or something but I do wish that they were adjustable somehow but the bag is so cute you can see it has all the wands and then the little compact right there so cute and I love this color of pink the inside is just basic there are no pockets or anything like that inside it is just a plain um, I love using bags like this when I go to the post office, when I ship out packages or just letters, just small envelopes and stuff. I love taking a bag like this. So this is really cute. And for each of these items, I'm going to start rating them how well they go with the theme of the box. Because with the Menhara box, there were quite a few items in there that didn't really go with the theme of Menhara. So with this, I would say this is Magical Girl. I would say it is is obviously 10 out of 10 magical girl appropriate very cute I love this anyone and everyone can use little book bags like this so that is awesome the next thing we have in here is a little Sailor Moon Sailor Chibi Moon keychain and it is from the pop collections I have seen these at Hot Topic and various like gaming stores they are very cute. I'm not going to take her out of the package because I do want to keep this as like a little collector's item. So that is cool. So 10 out of 10 on this because hello, Magical Girl, the epitome of Magical Girls is Sailor Moon. So, duh. Okay, next up, we have the pin that it was designed by Pastel Pixie. And it says Magical Girl. And it has a wand or two, it doesn't just, oh yeah, it just has one wand, a bow, and it is in a heart shape with some wings. And this is very, very cute. 10 out of 10, this is 100% magical girl themed, obviously. So it goes really, really well. And I love the colors of it. And it's bigger than the pin was in the Menhara box. The Menhara pin was like a little uh, syringe or a little needle. And it was really, really tiny. So I appreciate this. I like this. It's a little bit bigger. You get a little bit more product. And I just, I love Pastel Pixies designs and stuff so much. So this is very cute as well. 
This right here is a soap. It says Rees Body and Bath Pretty Guardian Bubblegum Soap. So I don't know if this is really magical girl themed, but, but when you use this, you smell like a magical girl. You can tell I've already opened this and I've already dipped my, oh my gosh, I've already dipped my fingers in this thing because I needed to see how it worked and what it smelled like. And you guys, it says it's bubblegum scented and this is literally just a jar of bubblegum. Disclaimer, do not actually put this in your mouth. Do not consume this. Do not eat this. It is not literal bubblegum. It is soap, but it smells like, like that Big League Chew or like the tape gum, like the, I don't remember exactly what it was called, but the pink one where you like, it's in a little tape roll and then you can chomp it off and then eat it. And oh my gosh, straight bubblegum. But I will say, as I showed you guys, I did take a little... A little dollop of it out so I could wash my hands and see if my hands smelled like bubble gum and unfortunately the scent only lasted a couple of minutes I found that like I would wash my hands and immediately it would smell like bubble gum like really really good and then like like two or three minutes would go by and then it just smelled like soap so it's kind of suckish that the scent doesn't last as long as you would want it to but the initial scent is just Oh my gosh, I just want to like leave this by my bed and just have it like the aroma all over my room. <laughs> just leave it open. But if you do that, obviously it'll just dry out and get gross. So you can't do that. But it smells so yummy and it's pink and you get a fairly big tub of it, which is awesome. It's probably like a six or seven. It's not really Magical Girl themed, but you can smell like one for a brief few minutes. <laughs> then we have, there are two little things down here. This says cherryrabbit.net illustration and design. We have this beautiful card capture sakura print. Very beautiful. I love the detail in this. And I won't be opening this because I think I just want to put it on my wall as is so it doesn't get damaged because it's so beautiful. I love this. Then we also have from Cherry Rabbit, we have this little, I think this is a sticker. I believe that this is Sailor Saturn. <laughs> Look at how sassy she looks. I will obviously give both of these a 10 out of 10 on the scale of magical girl theme. And then finally we have the t-shirt. The last one came with a t-shirt as well. Oh my gosh, this is so precious. Okay, I am obsessed with this. You guys know that I believe it was a small that I got last time, but I believe they are unisex. So it was a little bit too big on me. So I did ask them for an extra small this time. And so here is the shirt from this box. And it still looks a little big, but since it is a uh, unisex, it probably will be a little bit big. Oh my gosh, I just noticed the rainbow on here. <gasps> so cute. Look at this. This print is absolutely adorable. Pastel Pixie. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Yay. This is so precious. I love how it looks with my pink hair, of course, obviously. And the last one that I got from the Menhara box was so, so comfortable. I would sleep in that thing all the time. You guys probably saw my Snapchats and Instagram stories wearing that shirt constantly because it was so comfortable and just flowy and fun. So, of course, this t-shirt gets a 10 out of 10 on the Magical Girl scale. And the only thing that was in this box that maybe wasn't as high on the scale was the little soap. But honestly, the scent of it just makes up. It just compensates for it because it smells so good. I'm obsessed with it. I am planning on using it as like a body soap in the shower. However, like I said, I only wish that the scent lasted a little bit longer, but that has nothing to do with Pastel Pixie. I think that they reach out to other shops like this one right here that did the print and the sticker. They also had um, another 
couple items from different shops in the last box. So I love that they actually do that because you discover new artists and new creators that way that you maybe wouldn't have stumbled upon on your own. So yes, that is everything from the Pastel Pixie Kawaii Box, the Magical Girl Edition. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of this box this time around, if it was better than the last one. I personally think so, not just because it's Magical Girl themed and it's a little bit more popular, but just because everything was a little bit more kind of upscale in a way because you get the tote bag and the shirt and the pin was bigger and you get like an actual brand name Sailor Moon product which is really really cool so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below like this video if you liked this unboxing and I will talk to you all in my next video so until then so long stay strong stay true and be you all right bye